Good morning, my friends. Welcome to Keswick Chapel of the Chew in day three of week 32. The way of Jesus is the way of belief. Yesterday we looked at what is belief, and we looked at the definition of it, and we looked at Jairus and the woman with the issue of blood for our foundation of what is belief. What they believed is clear. Jesus heals the sick. Our passage is conclusive on that topic. Today, what do you believe? Why do we believe what we believe? Expectations have a great deal to do with what we believe. For example, when someone tells us that they're going to do something, we expect that they will, and therefore we believe that they will, right? Our experience forms our expectations, and our system of belief is based on experience. The type of example that we used here involves relationships, personal, with coworkers, with our community, with our government. Our belief systems are based on our experience. What did Jairus have? What was his experience? His experience was what he had heard about Jesus. So he came to believe that Jesus could heal his dying daughter. So imagine how he felt when the word came that his daughter had died. Jesus knew what was in his heart. He knew that he was wavering in his faith. And he responded immediately, Don't be afraid. Just believe and she will be healed. That's in Luke chapter 8 verse 50. Jesus knows, just like he knew Jairus was struggling, he knows when we are struggling in our hearts and minds. Let's look at a few verses together to drive home this point. In Luke chapter 5, verse 22, Jesus knew what they were thinking and, and asked, Why are you thinking these things in your hearts? In Luke chapter 9, verse 47, Jesus, knowing their thoughts, took a little child and had him stand beside him. And then in Matthew chapter 12, verse 25, Jesus knew their thoughts and said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself will be ruined, and every city or household divided against itself will not stand. Clearly, Jesus knows what's in our hearts and minds. What do you believe concerning Jesus? Do you believe? As Jesus said in John chapter 4, verse 47, Very truly I tell you, the one who believes has eternal life. Or how about this? John 6, 35, Jesus said, I am the bread of life. And then what about John 14, 6? Jesus said, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Do you believe, as the woman did, that by acting on what you believe in faith, you will see and witness Jesus working in your life? What do you believe? Do you believe in Jesus enough to choose the way of Jesus, or are you choosing your own way? I pray that as you chew on these things today, my friends, and as you read these verses that I've shared with you today, that you'll ask the Holy Spirit to help you to have eyes to see and ears to hear His truth, and that you'll have a receptive heart and mind to receive these truths so that you may be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And then I pray that you'll have the courage and boldness of Christ to take the actions that you're led to take by the power of the Holy Spirit. I hope you have a wonderful day, my friends. Go in the peace of God. Blessings to you. Bye for now.